Um, this little video will be basically about uh, making tessellations using software. Uh, tessellation is a shape that fits together with no gaps and no overlaps. Um, one of the beauties of uh, using technology to do this sort of stuff with children and students is that they can produce things that they never produced before. Um, firstly what I'm going to look at is the notion of using it till it breaks, which means hit heaps of buttons and just see what happens. Now the software is a free download, it's called TESS 1.4 and this is basically what it looks like, well, it's exactly what it looks like and I've had a couple of little goes at it and so what I've found is if you go into geometry here and then just go okay pick one of those there's a tessellating hexagon. Um, I did find out before that you can't do another one until you go session, new session, so they're probably the only real teaching points you need to start. And so if we go systematically, I could go, well, I did Archimedean uh, 666, now I can go 333, okay, not so fond of that one. Uh, uh, what else have we got here? And so I can just slowly, okay, we've got introduction of a second shape there around a, a hexagon, no, sorry, two, four, you know, an octagon. And so we can talk about that sort of stuff with kids and you know how it goes. So if we go, click down here, okay, still not quite there. So basically the whole first part is actually of learning a piece of software is just seeing what it can do. Alrighty, so that's a little more interesting. So if I think this button is a little hard to get the hang of, but there we go. Just make it a bit smaller. So I'm clear this one out. New session. Where was I? What does this look like? Okay, again, new session. Uh, rotational tile. I have no idea what these do, so let's have, what does tower do? We echo a seat. That'll do. Alrighty, maybe we need a few more of those. Uh, oh, I see. So, rotate type do and go. And then what we might do? You get the general idea. Just keep pressing buttons and you'll end up with something that's pretty out there. Alright, well I'm going to go with that as my first tessellation. Let's make it a bit bigger. Then what I like to do is uh, you combine two or more pieces of software together to get a really quite an original piece. So this is paint.net. It's a, it's a free piece of software. Uh, I just, I'll put the links in the, the notes. And it's basically a Photoshop clone. So in order to get that um, this tessellation in there, what I'm going to do is use the print screen button it's just found in the top right hand corner of a PC and I've pressed that once and I'm coming over here and I'm going to use control V which is your friend expand the canvas out now that's the whole screen now I don't want the whole screen, I only really want the tessellation so I'm just going to take this much and I might go to about there and I think you go image crop to selection. Now just for this tutorial I'm just going to choose some random colors so if we start with purple and go okay well I now need to make this into a pattern what are the bits that make this a pattern so they would be there okay um, do I want to yeah I might, might try keeping the purple going all the way in and what have I done? Yep. And this is just the bucket tool. Okay. Uh, we might call on that purple. And you can always change it too. So if I come over here and grab an orange. And just do lots of fill. Uh, if you've changed your mind and you're not really into that, all you do is change the color again. And go around. Now I know that within art theory and that all of that is the notion that colouring these mandalas is very uh, pacifying to children, but this is a whole separate set of skills, so I might just press these. Okay, and what if we go some sort of blue out there on the outside? I'm just guessing. And then file and save as and I'm going to make it a GIF file because that should come up quite small and just call it test 5 and save. Oops, and I missed a little bit of blue over there but I'll get that in a minute. And now that will be ready to uh, 
put on the web, print out, and do all sorts of things with. Okay, hope that helped. See ya.